Animation is what got a lot of us 3D artists in the 3D world. Today we'll discuss one of the main topics surrounding 3D animation, which is the difference between inverse kinematics, known as IK, and forwards kinematics, known as FK, their pros and cons and when you should use one over the other. Keep in mind this video is more of a general overview, and there is no objectively right or wrong answer. Each animator will have their own workflow. Let's start with forwards kinematics since it's easier to understand. FK works with parenting. If you rotate bone 1, all of its children will go with it. If you rotate bone 2, all of its children will move, but bone 1 will not because it comes earlier in the chain. This is the default behavior of any armature you try to animate, and by default all of your movements happens in arcs. IK on the other hand works by using control bones. You won't need to rotate each joint anymore just by moving one control bone. The rest of the chain will adapt to it. This will usually give you a more natural movement, and the movement happens in a linear fashion. IK can also be used to quote unquote stick joints to a place. More on that later on. Whether you want a linear movement or an arc movement by default depends on what you're trying to animate. Say you want to animate a walk cycle, generally speaking you'll want the arms to move in an arch fashion, since that's how we naturally move our arms when walking. In that case you'll use FK on the arms to have that natural arch from the get-go. In the same walking cycle example, you may want to keep the legs in IK. That's because when you're walking, you lift your foot up and your knee automatically bends. Doing that with FK takes a bit longer because you'll need to manually rotate the leg, then the knee, and the foot joint while trying to keep a linear movement. Generally speaking, it's easier to use IK in this scenario. If your leg IK control bone controls the whole leg, you are able to move the torso without moving the legs. That's great because it sticks the legs to the ground, making animations like jumping easier to deal with. If the legs are set to FK, when you move your torso down, the legs will go under the ground, since they are parented to the torso bone. One example is when you want a character to push something. If you keep the arms in IK mode, put the hands on the object and move the torso. You'll see the hands will not move, but the arms will to adapt to that change. The same logic goes for the legs, and anything else you may have in IK on, like tails. Our character from character Z have an IK, FK, switch for you to use. You can find our characters and plenty of other awesome libraries in the description down below. As you've seen, depending on what you want to achieve you'll use one or the other. These are just different ways to achieve the same result. If you want to just use IK or FK, go for it. I'll link down below some must watch videos by Sir Wade. He was an animation teacher at DreamWorks. If you want to step up your animation work, you should 100% watch his content. While you're at it, leave us a like to help the algorithm push this video to more people and tell us in the comments down below what brought you into 3D and animation. Join our Discord and share with us your best render. As always, this is Sam from 3D and I'll see you next time. Bye.